so all right guys welcome back to the channel get to meet me my name is samuel joshua and of course this is some um, craft ideas so basically you i believe you are here and you're watching this video simply because you want to learn how to activate your wechat pay to start receiving funds and sending funds out on your wechat pay so now how do you go about this just click on me here so you will see pay and service if your wechat does not bring this pay and service it's very simple i'm quickly going to be teaching you how you can activate this wechat pay before we now go into the verification all right so now for you to have access to this wechat pay you need to shut any of your chinese suppliers this is one of my chinese suppliers here i have a lot of them just tell them to send you one rmb or one yuan to you directly on this wechat so you now activate it you click on it to activate this pay and services after clicking on it it will, it will bring this option you can see here need to verify identity if i'm to click on my wallet you can see now it has not been verified if i'm to click on balance you will see that my identification has not been verified you can see here it's telling me to verify my identity so we are still coming there just to activate it but if for those of those people that does not have any chinese supplier and they want to find their way around this thing is very simple and straightforward you can reach out to me on this number displaying on your screen i can send one rmb to you or one chinese join for you to be able to activate this um pay and services is very simple and i can also teach you how you can activate it without involving any chinese what any chinese supplier or any chinese citizen so now let's assume you are now you've done it is now activated in this form so how do you now start to do the verification and the authentication there are processes to it which i'm going to be sharing with you now after you are done activating like you are now having your wallet here so how do you activate it's very straightforward just come to this pay and services here after clicking on pay and services this is what you should have they need to verify your information before you can start using this account to send and receive payment okay so what you want to do here is to click on this wallet they need to verify our identity so you click on wallet here so clicking on wallet will takes you to your bank card and your what and your balance so if you click on bank card you will see that we haven't added any bank card in the past isn't it so i'm going to go back here then click on my balance so clicking on balance we prompt them to bring out this information for you to verify your identity so if you have to read this they said according to chinese law and regulation after verifying your identity information you will be able to enjoy more wending pay fixtures such as transfer red packets balance and make purchases receiving money across wending payment service so this is to tell you that they need to verify you first before you can start enjoying their services which have to do with transferring like making payment across any chinese website like pindodo and the likes then you can also transfer and receive funds okay so how do you activate it just click on verify now clicking on verify now it takes you to this their terms and condition you can just read it through then you want to click on agree because you must agree to their terms and conditions so this is where your identity information what to start so you want to select the documents that what that you want to go for these are the basic document that they accept but as a foreigner we don't have access to this um all these informations here so you want to go for passports okay so you are going to click on okay this is where you want to fill in all your passports informations including your regions your passports expiring dates and the likes so once you are done filling all this information then you will click on next so i'm going to fill in my information shortly so i'll fill in all my necessary informations now and once i'm done then i'm going to click on next okay so clicking on next will takes you to the other part of the authentication where you want to add and bind your 
card okay so in some cases you need to bind your card and so in some cases you don't want to bind it so now you can add uh, maybe later but in this video i'm going to be adding my card so i'm just going to click on add now so it's going to bring out this again then you want to do what you want to fill in your card number so i'm going to do that and once i do that we are going to proceed so i'm done adding my bank card now so the next thing that i'm going to do now is to click on next all right so after clicking on next it will take me to the next phase of the authentication because i think this is the second phase now so it will load all my informations now and here this is where i want to do what i want to verify my phone number so you want to click on this plus eight six here then you want to select and change this region to your region so of course i'm from nigeria i'm going to select nigeria then input my phone number here and a code i'm going to click on get code here so a code will be sent directly to my phone number so once i receive it then i will do what immediately i will input it directly so a code let me wait for this code to come up so i think in some cases it might take time right so but you just need to wait till you will definitely receive the what the code i just got the code now so let me see um okay i think i have the code so it takes some time it takes some time so once you're done then you want to click on verify so it's also going to verify this number and um this will take you to the payment password so this your payment passport a password you need to be sure of it okay because once you activate it then it will whenever you want to do any transaction this payment password will always prompt in okay so you want to confirm it again and make sure it is written somewhere so you don't forget although there is also a, um okay so it has been bound with this card please reset the password cannot contain okay i think the number they are not accepting that number there so let me change it to this um okay let me change this to this um okay so i think this is awesome this is awesome this should go directly all right so now this is where you get to upload your passport photograph so you want to come to where we'll have upload here so do you want to upload is it that you snap it if you are with your international passport directly is it that you snap it or you upload from your gallery so i'm just going to click on this plus icon here then i'm going to choose from my gallery then i'll click on this guy here then i'll click here so it's automatically upload it from my album so let's wait for this guy to upload okay it has upload now and it has already verified it so the next thing is the facial verification aspect of it so i'm going to click on next then here is going to open my camera directly and i'm going to scan my face so i'm going to click on verify then i'm going to click on accept so clicking on accept now we open the camera you can see here this is the camera and this is me recording the video so it said i should face the screen So, it's recognizing my face. If it's recognizing it with the passport I upload, if it is tallied, then it's going to do what? Now, you can see that it has been verified. So, it takes at, at least nothing less than one day to for them to verify this information. So, you can see it said you have uploaded the photos of your ID card, right? So, I'm going to click on done. So, it will take us to here. Now we have, I think we should have the full access to this. So let's go back to confirm if this ID has been verified. You can see now automatically, that is to tell you we now have access. If I'm to click on my balance now, it will show me my balance, 0, 0.000. This is to tell you that I've automatically verified my account. So I can now add my card now and start using it to make payments if i'm to click on money here you can see here i can now activate i can check in this box then click on enable so i'm going to input my payment pin here so once i input my payment pin it will activate it directly for me so um okay i think it's telling me that it's not going to be showing simply because i'm doing a screen recording so i can now send money now then i can also receive money now this is my wechat qr code anybody that want to send me money i can easily send this to the person so this account is verified now all right so in my next video now we are going to be looking at how you can add your card you remember okay i think we've added our card okay we haven't 
okay this is our card now so in my next tutorial we are going to be looking at how we can use this atm card to fund our wechat pay directly for us to be able to use it to top up okay so i hope you find value in watching this tutorial if you haven't activated your wechat pay for it to be showing like this just message me i can find a way around it i can help you to do it then we also sell alipay funds and um wechat funds if you want us to help you fund and activate all these services is what we are available so you can see here they've notified me isn't it so it's a very straightforward process so thank you guys for watching this video to the very end and i will see you in my next tutorial